tonight's Sunday game we have for you. Here today, and we say hello and welcome to the broadcast booth. My partner, Pro Bowl tight end Greg Olson, and I'm Kevin Burkhardt. The Colts got off to a rough start. They've been great since. Six and two their last eight. It's all because of the run game behind Jonathan Taylor, who leads the NFL in rushing. Yeah, and in a pass-happy NFL, the Colts do not shy away from their run game mentality. And it helps, David. By now, everyone's heard Jonathan Taylor is an MVP candidate. He's running behind what's regarded as one of the best offensive lines in the league. They have embraced this identity here. That's what's going to carry them forward if they're going to make a run at the playoffs. So Taylor is an MVP candidate. Tom Brady, who's won it before, also an MVP candidate. Buccaneers have the number one offense in the league, and maybe that offense is the best defense against Taylor. I think it is. I think all week the narrative has been, how does Tampa's defense match up with this run game of Indianapolis? In reality, if Tampa wants to win that matchup, the offense needs to get out to a fast start, put points on the, on the board early, and force Indianapolis to now have to go to the air and change what they're coming in with their plan. And so those are the key matchups here today. Should be a fun game here in Indy with Tom Brady and the number one offense of Tampa Bay and Jonathan Taylor and this explosive run game of Indianapolis and the kickoff on Fox. Come on, next. Here's to watch, brought to you by QB. You've got the number one run defense in the league and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers going against the leading rusher in the NFL, Jonathan Taylor for the Colts. Who's going to come out on top? Find out. Kickoff coming up next. Cheddar loaded cheeseburger features a jumbo pack. enough just how hard it is to not only be in the league in his age, 